I think after the uh, Enter the Dragon was done with, well, then he called me and asked me to come over again. And finally, uh, reluctantly, I agreed to do so. And I would have been in that picture, but within weeks, why Bruce uh, met his death, so uh, that was the end of that. Well, Bruce was a very understanding and, and patient and kind person in many ways. Uh, uh, he, he didn't have too much patience in, in teaching somebody at that stage uh, because he was such a uh, intelligent person that he could just see something and just do it better than the guy that was showing it to him uh, without, without going to a lot of detail. But I know with me, uh, he knew that, uh, as I said earlier, I had two left front feet and I couldn't uh, do something right away. And so there were times when he uh, became rather uh, frustrated with me, but uh, he was very patient in that he, he overlooked that because he felt that, that I had more knowledge than I given I given myself credit for, and so uh, uh, he kind of stuck with me on that, but uh, uh, I, I don't know of any case where he became uh, very uh, frustrated and really uh, put somebody down because I, I think that he knew that if you were given your best to do something, he worked with you. He tried to structure things in terms of how your mentality, how your uh, physical abilities were, and, and he would try to tailor something that he knew that you could handle. One day, uh, Bruce and I were going out to the airport to uh, uh, pick up a friend that was coming in, and it was on a Sunday afternoon about three o'clock in the afternoon, and we had to go down through Chinatown to go out to the airport, and. Uh, it was very quiet, there were no cars on the streets, and we, we were, uh, I had grabbed a couple of apples in the store, and Bruce and I were chewing on apples, and we were talking and laughing and having a good time. We, we came to a particular stoplight, and uh, I said, Bruce, there's a motorcycle cop over there, and he said, yeah, I said, I see him. So we proceeded through the light, and then we went on about, uh, well, maybe uh, 2,000 feet or 2,000 uh, or more feet away to another stoplight, and and the motorcycle uh, patrolman was behind us, but uh, he didn't uh, show any action, and so uh, when the light turned green, we went through it and proceeded another half a block, and all of a sudden we see this red light going on, so we pull over, and the motorcycle cop comes up to us, and he says, well, he said, uh, you guys are eating an apple and laughing and, you know, having a good time. He said, you're going 39 miles in 30 mile zone. He said, uh, you thought you were pretty, uh, you know, pretty good about that, didn't you? And, uh, you know, he started making demeaning remarks, and uh, I looked over at Bruce, and I felt him, I saw him clench his fists, and I said, Bruce, I said, for God's sake, don't do anything, because we'll both be in jail. And so he kept his cool, but a winning on that was that this, this motorcycle cop, I think he had a, a little bit of a chip on his shoulder for some reason or other, and uh, about two weeks later, I read in the paper that he had, uh, done the same thing to some construction worker in uh, a certain part of the city and the construction worker uh, laid him out and put him in the hospital and so uh, and it, it, was, it was sort of a, a good feeling for both of us that he got in just dessert for doing something that he was going way, way beyond the call of duty. I think, I think Bruce Lee had a message when he taught and uh, of course, one of the, the goals was, uh, as I said earlier, to try to achieve the equality of, of ethnic, di people of different, different ex ethnic backgrounds. But on the other hand, uh, Bruce was trying to show us a way in which we could make ourselves better people. And the way I look at it is that, unfortunately, we have to go through the physical aspect of, 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 of entering into the spiritual essence of the, of the, of the martial arts. and. Uh, which, which I feel is the most important, the final, the final plateau in one's life. And, and the reason I say that is because at that, the composition of the class as far as ethnicity was uh, a little bit of everything. There were, there were black people. In fact, the first student was a black uh, fellow, Jesse Glover, and uh, James DeMille, he was, uh, I think, uh, more Filipino than anything. Uh, uh, we had uh, Charlie Wu, who was Chinese, and myself, and, and there were several other uh, uh, white kids under Doug Palmer, uh, Joe Cowles, uh, uh, and other other uh, 
black uh, students also. So it, Bruce didn't uh, delineate and say, I'm only going to take so many blacks in or so many Chinese or anything like that. He just left it to uh, who came in, and if they proved themselves to be of character, why well, he let them in. When Bruce was in the class teaching, I mean, there was no uh, voices in the background or anything. He had he had a complete attention from all of us, and he he worked us until we dropped almost, and we just thoroughly enjoyed and respected it, and and felt that uh, uh, we, we we felt like it was just like reading the Bible. We we swore by it, you know, and he. And he was a kind of a person that when he told you that he was going to teach you something, if you had any doubt in your mind whether it was going to work or not, he personally showed you why it was working. And there was not an ounce of doubt in your mind uh, after that that, that, the, that what he had taught you was not uh, completely useful. We've had, from time to time, we had uh, uh, athletes that were in there that were, that were pretty coordinated and pretty fast. And, Obviously, uh, from what I just told you, there, occasionally there were people that sort of thought that they had it down pretty pat and they would uh, get a little bit arrogant and of course Bruce would sense that and he would uh, just sort of nonchalantly say, okay, well, come on, let's, let's you know, let's, let's see what you can do. And, uh, and uh, he was so far above any of us anyhow that the minute that we, we tried to do anything like that, he just put us down as if you were handling a little baby and it, uh, it made you a believer in a hurry. And so. Uh, if you had any any feelings in your body of, of, of arrogance or or, um, or maybe a little bit of uh, boastfulness, uh, you, he put you right down to where you were ground zero. When he was in Hong Kong, I think he felt that uh, uh, the Wing Chun system was probably the most realistic in terms of of uh, uh, economy of motion and uh, and uh, uh, a lot lot. Uh, minimizing the uh, classicalness of things and so although he was well versed in the uh, Charlie Foote, the uh, 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 praying mantis and a lot of other styles like that, uh, he could stand in front of you and imitate you know 90 percent of them, probably better than the people that were masters than the others could but uh, he felt that this was the most realistic thing and of course he always went by the axiom that the most simple direct uh, action was, was the most realistic and uh, he likened it to uh, swimming on dry land versus swimming in the water. He said, he said, some point in time, if, you're, if you continue to swim on dry land, uh, you got to get into the action, you got to get into the water. But when he came over here, why, he, he uh, pretty much stuck with the Wing Chun uh, system, but uh, along with his theory of economy of motion and practicalness, he, he uh, modified it to what he thought was right. And since then, uh, I have had students of, of a pretty firm background in uh, Wing Chun that have come to my club here uh, uh, and, and wondered what we were doing because they didn't see too much resemblance. But uh, uh, I think that the, the, the testament in it is that uh, Bruce finally developed a, a uh, fighting method called, what you, what you call Jeet Kune Do, that encompasses uh, the, the most simplified thing, but the most realistic thing. So uh, uh, I think his whole point was that uh, uh, at some point in time you need to subtract rather than keep adding. In the movies, you have to do things that uh, that become more impressive in terms of what the, what the audience sees. But uh, you only have to look into the background and realize that the message there. The message is that uh, it's not one of violence, but it's one of love and harmony to get along with each other. You know, to be able to find out who you are, so that you can, you can also re then react to somebody else, and maybe I think we're all put on this world to do something, to create something, leave a message before you die that that, that inspires somebody else to to become better than they are, and I think it's our responsibility. I think Bruce left that message with each one of us that it's our responsibility to create and leave that impression upon the, those around us, so that they can be better involved and better people themselves because of what Bruce taught us.